Software developers are one of the most well compensated professions. So what is your total compensation? 100 to 110. 146. 180. 250,000 a year. 400,000 annually. But do you really need a job to make good money with codes? Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we will try freelancing, building digital products, SaaS, AI, any other buzzword that comes to my mind. I will start from zero and build myself up to a thousand dollars in the next few episodes. And let's see how far we can get with just a laptop <laughs> and a few lines of code. Also, my skill as a programmer, if we had to make a tier list, I would be somewhere in the C tier. Yeah, just your average programmer. Not insane, but not a complete beginner, just C tier. <laughs> I already have a plan for hustles that I want to do in this video. We will start with freelancing. If you're not sure what freelancing is, it's basically when someone asks you to build a Facebook clone and they will pay you $10. Ah, no. Freelancing actually is when people post about their problems that you could help solve with code. All you have to do is create an account on one of these freelancing websites and you're pretty much ready to go. You can start applying to jobs, but this is also where the hard part comes in because they have to pick you to solve the problem. And if you have seen this video where I tried to freelance, you would know that uh, it didn't go too well. But this time will be different. It was not shit balls through the window, <laughs> through the floor. I've been trying this whole freelancing thing for the past 16 days. And let me tell you, it has been a roller coaster ride. Well, by that, I mean one of those rides that only goes down. <laughs> From all the jobs that I applied to, I only got three responses. But I'm not sad. I'm actually super duper happy. 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 Last time when I tried freelancing like six months ago, I literally got zero responses. So this time getting three responses is actually a super duper mooper improvement. And one of those three responses is actually looking pretty good. It's this one. It's a job to convert a Figma design into a Shopify website. And boy, did I try hard to get this job. First of all, I did a little cheat code you can do on Upwork. And I saw that he is talking to a few other developers. So I said, I see that you're interviewing five other people. What is the budget they propose as I am ready to take the lowest? Very, very desperate stuff. <laughs> and he pretty much said five candidates which were shortlisted and the lowest contractor would do it for $350. And I simply replied, I'll do it for 300. <laughs> the biggest asshole move you can do, but sadly that is what you have to do to get your first clients on Upwork. So now all I had to do was make a test page, which I did in about one to two days and I sent it over to him and he told me he will get back to me with a reply. All we can do now is uh, wait. Okay, this is getting uh, pretty boring. Let's uh, check out the second hustle. So, the second coding hustle that I want to try is creating a digital product. A digital product is a product that is digital. Basically something that you can buy and download online. It could be a game, an app, a book, or even a movie. But in my case, I will start small. No, 
even smaller. I want to make a coded template. If you're not sure what that is, it's basically when a design like a dashboard is converted into code with a popular framework like React, Vue, Bootstrap and so on. There is a big demand for these types of digital products. Just look at these sales. The best way to build a digital product is to solve a problem that you have. When I tried to build my own portfolio website, I tried to purchase one of these coded templates and I simply could not find a good one. They all just looked so generic, so ugly, simply not good looking. And you could just say, uh, why don't you just build one yourself? And yeah. That's exactly what I am going to do. I want to make a developer portfolio template that people can buy and then make their own portfolio websites. So the first thing that I have to do is make the design. So I gathered some inspiration and I was basically thinking, what would I want as my portfolio website and how should it look? I kept experimenting and experimenting and experimenting and experimenting, making a bunch of versions and variations until I ended up making this. It's simple and easy to understand. It uh, might be too minimalistic for some people, but I think it's uh, pretty cool. And a really, really, really cool part I'm pretty proud of is that the 3D character in the design can be customized. We made it in Blender and exported a few variations and basically you can add a beard glasses, change the hair and stuff like that and also change the colors of everything and then simply export a PNG image and make the portfolio website feel even more unique. We need to remake this design into HTML and CSS and to be honest I hate hate doing CSS. So I found someone on Fiverr that did it for me for $30. I was hoping I will get the freelancing job to pay for this, but so far we don't have it yet. So we are basically minus $30 in the challenge right now, but at least I have this coded version. <laughs> it works pretty well. All the buttons work, everything works, looks good. And the mobile version also works very well. Yeah, it's cool. All that remains now is to start selling this digital product. There are a lot of places where you can sell digital products. The most popular ones for web development are Theme Forest and UI8. So I spent the next three hours creating a bunch of content so that the product looks professional. And I also created a tutorial on how to use it, basically made it as user friendly as possible to use. And the last thing remaining was to click submit for review. Literally one day later, these mother pieces of shit. Einfach diese Söhne. Diese. Uh, yeah, they rejected my product. <laughs> because there is not enough content, quality, or use case. I thought it was pretty good. There was enough content, quality. The use case speaks for itself. I think they have something against me. Well, probably they don't, but uh, now I'm sad and I have to blame someone for my problem. So I think they're to blame. <laughs> we can transform this sadness into happiness. Well, not for me, but for other people. I will basically give away this product for free on my GitHub. It's down in the description. It includes the React and HTML version and the Figma file. Also a full tutorial on how to use it and how to modify things and such. Update on freelancing. I still have not gotten the answer from the main guy and no other new projects kind of came up because I was mostly just working on this digital product thing. So yeah, episode one is going strong. We are minus 50 in our challenge and uh, it is what it is.
If you think this video was depressing, you can check out my coding journey timeline. It's pretty interesting as well. If not, then not. Uh, bye.